Okay, so today I'm going to do another flashlight test on the bypass valve on this Fram Endurance oil filter. And this filter is rated for 25,000 miles. And the filter number is FE7317. I've done two in the past. I've done one on an AMS oil filter, and I've done one on a SuperTech oil filter. And they both failed. I'm thinking this Fram Endurance filter is probably going to be similar to the AMS oil oil filter. Let's take a quick look at this filter before I open it up. Right here, is, you can freeze that and get all that info, info if you want. And this filter is a full synthetic media with a micron rating of 99% for particles greater than 20 microns. So let's open this frame filter up and, uh, and check out this bypass valve. Take a quick look at it. Date code A305-1226. Product of USA. This is a sticker. And this filter has 10 inlet holes, silicone and drain back valve, metal core louvers, and the bypass valve down below. With about three grooves there for threads. Nitro rubber gasket. Now I'll put the measurement of that up on the screen. Okay, let's open this filter up. Okay, so here we have the silicone anti drain back valve, covers those up nicely, and this is where we'll check all this later on, but this is where we're going to check out, it's all sealed there, you can see that. I'm going to shut the light off, we got a flashlight here, and we'll see if, um, See if we can let, shine some light through here and see if we see some light out of here. And let me get the lights. Okay. All right, you can see some light coming through there. See that? It's sealed all the way there and then on the other side. Now, where is that leaking? Let's check this out. So it's leaking right there there Let's see where it was leaking over here okay so it looks like it's leaking right there it's not leaking over here it's leaking right there all right let me try squeezing it See, I can't squeeze that. There's that's as hard as I can squeeze it. And it's still it see it's got a little It's got a little thing there. It's like touching. It's actually touching. See that? But watch. See the light's still going through there. So Let's see if it's coming out of here also. Nope. It's not coming out of here. It's right there. That's as far as it can go in. Look, it's touching. So even if this is pushed totally in, you know, with pressure, oil pressure, what have you, I don't see that that bending. That's 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 pretty much it. It's, that's as far as it's going in. So these do leak a little bit. All right, well, let's take a look at this filter. Got a metal crimp steam. I'll put the number of pleats up on the screen. And it's a nice looking synthetic filter. Let's get the measurements. Get the can first. Okay, I think that's a little high. I'll, I'll remeasure it again just to make sure. And okay, we got two point 
eight three inches wide minus one tenth of an inch okay so um i'm gonna cut this open stretch it out and uh we'll take a look at it be right back okay i want to try one more test with this filter i got a vise right here what i'm gonna do is you know i don't have big jaws on this vise but what i'll try to do is i put a little flashlight in here and now you can't see it because i got the light on but it doesn't matter flashlight's in there put that in there and i'm going to turn it squeeze it and get this kind of straight okay now let me turn the light off and i'll start cranking on it okay Let's turn this to see if we see any any light. Yeah, we can see some light right there. Let me crank it up. Okay, I'm cranking on it right now. Still see the light. Yep, that's not that's not going. See, it's just yeah, it's gonna bend in. It's bending it in. You see, it's it's already bent right there. So look what it did to it. And you can still see the light coming through. See what it did to it? In my opinion, you could flatten this to a pancake and it would still show some light through. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And this Fram filter is 33 and a quarter inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. This filter is 0.81 millimeters thick. This is the filtering side, back side. You can see like it's got a few layers to it. Synthetic, full synthetic media. And let's take a look at this under a microscope. So looking under a microscope, it looks like you do a very good job of filtering. I seen a couple little spots there. I think that's when I was doing a device test. I got it dirty, but that's about all that is. It's got a metal screen backing throughout. Really tough stuff here. And that's just a crimp seam I pulled it apart. Okay, and let's look at the rest of the filter. So this is all the wire backing throughout the filter quite a bit of it and gasket the gasket looks fine nice gasket nice any drain back valve base plates fine also got a lot of inlet holes there so that's that's all good and it's a good filter you know this here of course it got bent up and I showed you how easy these things bend I can just bend them with my fingers there's no way this could fit any tighter in there it just that's as far as it goes. So, I, I'm pretty sure that they all leak. And let's take a look at the louvers on this guy. Yeah, you can see those are all opened up nice. And the can, can's fine. It's got the little, kind of like a pet, uh, painted texture. Probably be a little bit easier to grab. So that's pretty nice too. It's not as good as the other ones though. They got the, the rubber here. But better than being smooth I guess. And just to be fair. I'm going to do some future tests. 
with uh, filters that have the bypass valve right here. So I'll get a flashlight shine up through here and we'll see if it, uh, if it leaks there. If we get any light coming through. I don't think there will be, but you never know. Could be. I didn't, I didn't test this out, so I don't know. But that'll be for a future video. And with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Fram Filter Media weighs 6.5 grams.